Hey guys, welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. I'm your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and in the last episode, we left off here in the Crypt of Dead Gods. And it's a pretty intimidating name, right? I mean, this is a this is probably going to be a pretty significant place. I've got end game vibes going here, but I mean, we're like level 91, right? We got the badass Kraken longsword. We have we have all the stuff we need. I think we have everything we could possibly require to get through this place. So, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go kick some ass. We're just gonna jump right into it, man. No fear, no doubt. Boy, this is a long-ass tunnel. What the hell? I just remember in the last episode, I died a lot. Like, two or three times I died just trying to find a sanctuary. What's this? We already found a shortcut? Okay, let's... Ooh! Hager's... Okay, this is... I remember this place. Ah, yes. Mini sanctuary and everything. This is where the other boss was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we know where that is. And you'll have to forgive me if I'm kind of sloppy or weird in this episode. Um, I've been really, really excited to get back to Salt Sanctuary because I like this game a lot and it's really fun to play. But my fingers... Like, I have Monster Hunter thumbs right now, so my fingers probably don't know what to do. I might make a few mistakes. Just be forewarned. And also, sorry if I sound, like, a little bit nasally. I have, uh, I have allergies and stuff, and they get really bad when the seasons change. And we're kind of, like, transitioning from summer to autumn right now, so... Alright. So these fucking things. Right? These things are just a pain in the ass. Like, they need haircuts. That's that's the answer. That's all there is to it. They need haircuts. And that's the way to kill them. That's how you kill everything in this damn game, is just haircuts, bro. Like, I shouldn't talk like that. And then the scarecrow. The scarecrow was up there where all the bodies were. I remember that. But for now... You need a haircut. For now, we're just going to explore. We're going to make our way past these jerks, these dudes who just give me a lot of problems for unprecedented reasons. And we're going to look for some loot. We're going to figure out what's going on around here. I like the statues. Like, there's... The statue itself looks like a man that is robed with long hair. And the candles are bunched up in his hands, and his forearms, and then on his head. It looks like he has a crown made of candles. So that's my initial observation. Okay, we don't even need the buff. We don't even need lightning. These dudes just straight up die at the hands of the scissors. You don't have to be embarrassed, man. It's okay if you're no match for your local barber. I mean, how much damage do I have with these things? Fucking, like... Yeah, 183 damage. It's nothing to scoff at. Don't beat yourself up. Okay, hidden walls. You know I'm always looking for these hidden walls, man. All the time. I'm a sucker for them. So this is an empty pouch. That means we've been down here. I don't feel like I went down this far. But then again, it's been a couple weeks since I played. Let's see how they feel about fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fire bad. They don't seem to like that. The only thing worse than scissors is burning scissors, I guess, right? Bring damage ahead. Well, I got a bunch of that. I mean, I feel it, bro. What's going on here? Oh, that's a Crypt Keeper. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried about this guy. We can beat these dudes. How about a haircut? On the house. Nothing? I mean, he gave me a lot of salt. I suppose I should be greedy. What does Lawtrick say? Let's not be greedy now. <laughs> that little cackle that he does. Like, I'm not a villain. Oh, okay. You can't do that. And then this. What the fuck is that? Oh, 
Oh, shit. There had to have been a probably a better way to do that, but you know, this, this is me we're talking about. Jeez. I have no footing in this game. I really don't. You guys know that. Drowned sensor. Okay, that'll be for more Kraken weapons. Shortcut. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's this? This is the... Ah! Wow, okay. Alright. So we found a nice shortcut to the bottom. Alright. I suppose things are going so bad right now, right? I mean, we're doing okay. Or at least I think we are. I'm sure there's plenty of people playing. Okay, we have a Warhorn for more stamina. Sweet. I'm sure there's... Lesson learned. Never acknowledge that I'm doing a good job because when I do, Salt and Sanctuary says I'm about to end this man's whole career. Shit. That was embarrassing. Alright. Let's not do that again, yeah? Come here, little salt bat. Give me my fucking salt. Ugh. Yay! It just, it couldn't, it couldn't miss an opportunity to fucking... No! <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I need to be a little more tactful about this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what gravity's beef is with me. I don't know if it's pot roast, or... I don't know if it's country fried steak, beef tips, meatloaf. It's some form of beef. And it's got it bad, like it's some form of like overcooked, not delicious beef that it has with me. And I feel it, man. It resonates like this shit. This gravity is fucking after me all the time in this game. And I don't know what I've done. Here, salt bat. Give me my fucking salt. Alright. What do I do for this part? How do I get down without... Yay! Alright. There's gotta be a better way to get down here. I mean, there's an item right there, right? You're supposed to go down there. And this cleric is just making a cushy-ass six-figure salary off of me dying. Alright. Let's have at this again. This time, I'm gonna be ultra-cautious. Watch me die again. Spoilers, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do everything I can. Here, salt bat. Give me my shit. Give me my worthless 13 salt. No, fuck. Damn it. I was gonna try to, like, jump off the wall and... Oh, man. How does Andy describe it in the office? Like, double vault, roundabout, twisty flip off the dumpster into the box, or whatever he says. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that episode, but something like that. I'm trying to describe what kind of, like, lame parkour I'm going to do to get to this damn ledge down here at the bottom. Alright, this is my last try, and then I'm just going to pursue a different direction, because... The game clearly doesn't want me to get down there. Maybe I'm not supposed to go down there. Give me my salt. Okay, so... Maybe this, go, and then, no. This, no. This, and then, yes, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Ha. And then, what after that? I suppose I could... Well, what the hell's up there? Hee! More enemies. I don't even need this to kill you. I just know it'll hurt more. That's the only reason I'm doing it. God, I'm a psychopath. Um, 
Ooh, we can upgrade something else. Yeah, no! Fuck you, bro, don't punch me. No, haircuts. Grave Walker's Ashes, okay. So, let's check this out real quick. Probably not the best time to do this, but I don't care. We're gonna check this, and then we're gonna look at the beastery. This is the only green glowing ashes we've ever seen. Ashes of a Grave Walker's Kraken's soul. The soul still glows, but its awful power has been neutralized. The souls of saltborn men exist in the, exter the eternal fire of salt, but the souls of Kraken take on a different form. So those guys do like a magic attack, right? That's what we know about them. So where's our beastery? Let's look at that, right? Um, I've forgotten how to access the beastery. Hmm. Is it the other option? This, yeah. Alright, so... Damn, this is a lot of freaking enemies we've come across in this game. must have missed somebody all right let's look for this like most recent the grave walker okay a cricket soul that the being that is the grave walker is actually the glowing green sprite in the center of the creature the soul wields stone from the crypt of the dead gods as a body of sorts and the avatar is animated that's pretty cool. So it'll tell you... I didn't know that. Okay, so hold on. The beastery tells you the drop rates of their items after you get it? That's pretty cool. That's almost kind of like a Monster Hunter feature. I dig that. So what's this way? An item. Yes. A crystal sphere. Okay, so we can... I can't make that jump. There's no fucking way. I'm gonna try anyway! <laughs> Fuck. Wow. That was scary. There was some real butt clinch that happened right there. I just want you to know that. I want you to have that visual. You're welcome. And then what the fuck is down there? Fuck. Oh, damn it. Y'all know what I'm trying to do, right? You... Ooh. All right. Now I feel like it's going to be really difficult for me to get back over to where I was. Okay. Mimic. No. What's this? More Lord's Orders. We can upgrade our equipment even further. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Wait, what was that? Okay, nothing. We already got that item. Sweet. Let's head back. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into a boss yet. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not... I'm not sitting here looking for ass whoopings. Oh, fuck. I say that, and then I get just crushed. Alright. That's it. You need a haircut. What's wrong? Can't you hit me? Name that reference. I reference a lot of things from that specific man on this channel. Y'all should know that one. <laughs> it should be a dead giveaway. Who do I reference the most? What actor? Here's our boss. All right, so what do I want? Kraken Sword is what I want. Don't want it to be too easy. And then... I think we're good. Let's do it. What are you going to give me? Holy shit! Kraken Dragon Scores. Sorry about your name, pal. I just. <gasps> okay. He had big reach. He hit hard. Ah! He hit mega hard. He had big reach. Block! <laughs> mm -hmm. What is that? I can't even tell what the attack radius of that was. That was weird. What is it? Why is it happening to me? Oh, shit. Oh! Ooh, fuck. Alright. 
Oh my goodness. Fuck you, man. I'm gonna chip damage you to death because clearly I can't do a damn thing to you. Unless I use the stupid scissors. But I don't want to switch to those. It'll be too easy then. Okay, so that is a cloud of damage. I assume I walk into it and it goes boom and hurts really bad. That's what my basic... Ow. So you do definitely have to roll away from it. I was right on that, I suppose. Let's see what fire does to this guy, because lightning seemed to do the trick. Ah! 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 <gasps> well, I should be dead. Okay, so if you touch those, it hurts. Fire does way better. Fire does way better against this guy, I suppose. No, you fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So that attack. Um, I'm thinking that because it's lightning, it looks like lightning spears or some kind of like lightning spike is happening there. So something tells me that it's physical damage with lightning damage. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I noticed... Did I survive this jump? I mean, what did I do here? Sh that. That's exactly what I did. Fuck. Alright. Dick. Get this electricity. Goodness, a Lord's Order. Thank you for that. Alright. Let's smash this guy. Um, what was I gonna do? I was talking about the damage that he does, right? So, lightning. I have a shield that blocks 100% lightning somewhere in here. Um... Don't know where it is. Where is it? What the hell? It's the mirror one, right? The mirror shield. Is it this one? No, that one has, like, lightning bolts on it. You would think that block a bunch of lightning damage. What blocks the most lightning for me? I could have swore I made that damn shield, bro. This one has negative 38 lightning. That's, like, awful. <laughs> um, what on earth? That blocks 71, 80. That's a tower shield, though. I won't be able to move with it then. These are all tower shields, man. That's 79, and it's still a tower shield? Fuck, I thought I made that dumb thing. I won't survive with 46. 75. Huh. Well. I don't know, I guess we're just gonna have to run in here and do our best while dodging, right? I mean, what else can you do? Okay, so the Kraken Dragon... It's the, the like, three-pronged lightning attack that really sucks. Oh my goodness, I th totally thought I... Ah! Alright, so that. Let's talk about that and how we can get away from it. Okay. And then that has limited... Ah! <laughs> oh, man. He literally clipped me with it and was just like, it has limited what? <laughs> you fucker. Oh, shit. Okay, so you cannot... Ah! Spam. Shit. <laughs> Alright, it's really hard to tell where he's going to go with that. Um, so what are the moves that we have to watch out for with this guy? There's He has really like obscure random physical moves that he only does like one time for whatever fucking reason. And then I'm not falling for this again. Nope. 
We got his ashes. That's nice. Okay, let's heal up. And let's use our shield more, because I feel like that's where we're really kind of messing up, is we're not using our shield enough. Um, I think the shield will keep me alive just a little bit longer. So I'm going to stay on my potion. Okay. So that, you have to roll away. You can't roll towards him. And then that. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, if, ooh, if I use the shield on that, I will survive longer. Oh my god, that is devastating, though. Shit. Okay, so he'll spam that. All right. Ow. God, how do you get away from that? Okay, so... Fuck. I'm cornered. Ah! Ah! And then you can't get past him, right? Alright. Stay away, I know how to use these. No way. Okay, so you literally straight up ow. So you can't roll into him when he's gonna do that attack. So now what? What do I do? I'm trying to figure out like how to prevent this guy from cornering me, because once he does the breath attack, it's it's over. Um, here's what I'm gonna... Well, shit, no, I need to be at the other sanctuary, because I can't do anything at this sanctuary. Is there a way for me to get down here without losing health, like... No. Come here. All right, so I guess my best bet really ends up being the, the damn scissors, because like, I feel like I don't do enough damage. The longer the fight goes on, the more mistakes I'll make, and I need the scissors to be able to do enough damage to him. I thought I was kind of over-leveled up until this point. This guy, like, legit, he needs the scissors. Ah! Why didn't you switch? See? That. Fucking. Ugh. Rah! Alright. Good, 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 good. Hmm. Oh, what's wrong? You backing up, pal? Yo! Oh, fuck you! Ugh! Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he looks like he's doing a combination of fire and lightning damage, which is interesting to me. Ha! No! Oh, come on! That was just fucking weak. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit! No, come on, bro. I won't be finished that easily. No! <laughs> no! Fuck you. I win. Arr. So in reality, I guess he wasn't that bad. He totally tried to go for the cheese at the end there. Like, you think, you think I'm just going to let you have that? No. I will not be cheesed. Where is your horn? It's mine. Let me read the description. This thing that I took from you that is mine. Scores horn. Horn of Kraken Dragon scores. When a horrible calamity at sea occurs, it is nearly always the design of a greater Kraken, and no Kraken is greater than the scores. 
Lord of the Storm and Sea can be used as transmutation material. Okay, so let's look at the beastery then. Let's see. Where is he? There he is. A great Kraken, Lord of the Storms, Keeper of the Crypt of the Dead Gods. Ever since man discovered travel by sea, sailors have feared this monster who wields devastating storms with ease, sending sailors and kings alike to icy graves beneath the sea. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty chilling. I like that a lot. What's this? This looks... Well, if it isn't, Salt Sanctuary's Papal Gehrman. Heart Dark Life Sanctuary. Everything is here. I don't want to. This feels like the end of the game. I don't want to. I feel like we haven't covered the rest of the crypt. Um. Yeah, it's time to head back up. Or in the opposite direction. Let's go the other way. Like, right takes us to the Kraken. The Kraken skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
with that guy's horn. <clears throat> How about a fancy sword? Oh my goodness, you can. But it's a magic sword. Don't like that. It has killer scaling, though. Like, it's got the high scaling for dexterity and wisdom, so those are going to be like your big damage, your big damaging stats, but then it has like that tiny little sprinkle of strength that gives you just a, a C. It gives you that barely passing student on the side for that extra sprinkle of damage. I bet this thing is devastating. I bet it does a shit ton of damage on the right build. I really want to make this thing. It just makes, it like, reminds me of the Silver Knight Straight Sword from Dark Souls. I like it. No fancy hammer. Wait a minute, what's that? Ah, the Crypt Keeper's Hammer, the Bone Crusher. That's a class four. That's up there with the big daddies. And then... No new axe. No bow. What the fuck is that? A magic bow? Wow. Now I've seen it all. I want it. This game is, like, forcing me to take deep interest. I love that, man. That is so cool. It looks great. This game's forcing me to take an interest in the magique. It even has, there's even a magique version of my scissors. God, what's the only thing better than a barber? Is a barber who's a part-time magician at birthday parties on the side. It's great cash, I'm telling you. All right. Um, that. God. I tell you, the damage you can do with a well-seasoned pan is unreal. Okay, nothing. We've seen all of these. How about an axe? Give me a fancy axe, huh? Yeah. Okay, you can get the, the Crypt Keeper's great axe, which looks horrifying and destructive and I'm sure you can make some kind of like fancy staff right how about a bonk new bonk no okay don't care for whips at all they're quite a disappointment that's it my friends okay See, that, that, that would have been perfect in this fight. Perfect. And I swore I could, I swore I made it, but I guess I did not. Can't make any new masks yet, which I ain't worried about because, well, what about just like armor? We can't transmute any armor. You can only transmute headpieces. Like, that's so weird. Why can't you transmute like an entire armor set, man? Okay, um... What's our next move? I guess to go down here and confront this guy, right? Well, we have the shortcut. We unlocked a shortcut. I'm really close to being able to level up again. I'm just going to use the salt that I have. Bah! There we go. Let's do it. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna switch weapons, actually. We're gonna get rid of the scissors, and we're gonna go with something else. Let's, well, do I have... I'm not trying to talk to you, bro. I don't... A blacksmith. I do not. How do I not have a blacksmith? Wow. Okay. Sorry for the brief intermission... Ladies and gentlemen, but I need to find a blacksmith real quick. Um, yep, right here, Hager's Cavern. Okay, so let's talk to this guy before we take on a boss. Let's see if we can upgrade any of our this thing. I really like this thing. I would totally like to keep upgrading it because it's just freaking awesome. It just looks like squid on a stick. It's great. Uh, this thing. Haven't upgraded this thing in a minute. Definitely need to upgrade it. 
probably the most important thing I can upgrade. That guy looks cool! Shit. I don't have enough salt. Um... Well... Yes. Give me two of these. Okay. And... Uh, uh, yeah. The weird flex, right? Stomping salt. Brings new meaning to the phrase, pound salt. Alright. Let's see if we have enough. What's it gonna cost us to max it out, huh? Ten thousand! Holy shit. Alright. I know I have more salt, right? Boom! What do you know? Yeah, that's right. Your boy's got a savings account. Bop, bop, bop. Boom, boom. Alright. Now just a little more. And boom, 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 boom. Ugh. So close. Okay. Give me one more case of salt. Just one more. It did not auto equip. That's fine, though. Okay. Bomb. Give me just enough. Sweet. So let's max this baby out. To the shield seven. Better recognize. All right. Will keep me safe from harm. I think. Where's my guide? Whatever. I have calling horns. It's no big deal. Hui, to the dead gods. So let's see what this other boss holds for us. I wonder if there's, like, a more difficult and a less difficult boss in each level. Like, that kind of runs through my head. Occasionally, I'm like, is there, like, a hard boss and an easy boss for each level, or is there, like, a an intermediate and, like, easy boss? I mean, how do they, what do they do to balance it out? How do they make it happen, right? Okay, so we all know what happened here last time. Let's not do it again, right? Ha. There we go. And then it was through here, right? Yes, yes, it was through here. Okay. All right. And then who knows, after we get past this... Oh, that's right. The game is gonna make me take fall damage here. That's so fucking lame. I hate that. I really do. Wait, can I just, like... I tried everything I could to prevent that. Okay, what's this? Far right. Yeah, let me just, like... Damn it! I'm trying to, like, slide my way down and be easy, but, like, it's just... The game doesn't fucking like me, but... No hidden walls. You're not gonna give me the good shit. That's alright. I don't need the good shit, because this has been a good game. I've, I've had... The game has already given me the great shit. Okay, what's this? Kill two, then... Oh, God, there's more than two? Alright, I ain't scared. Bring it on. Skeleton Lords, like from Dark Souls 2. Oh, this looks cool. I got a maxed out two to shield. You ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, my God, they're doing stuff. Oh, my God, they're doing stuff. Ah. What is that? Alright, you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come here. Come here. Ah. I don't like you. I need you to die. Fuck. 
Oh god. <laughs> I got the heal off just in time. <laughs> I don't like you. You need to die. You're like the only one that can hurt me. Those things trace you from like off screen. That's horrifying. Die, die, die. Oh god. No, 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 no. Fucking wrong thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, come over here, pal. You and me. Let's do it. Fuck. Where did he go? <laughs> That's not fair at all. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Come here, you flying shit. Ooh. Okay, it has a range. It has a range. Interesting. Fuck off. Oh no, it's his attack survived. That was horrifying. Oh god. He just kicked me. Oh god. Okay. Gotta rebuff. Here we go. That's it. Come on over. You're not getting through this shield. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, I just dodged his kick. That was super satisfying. Ow. Actually, come to think of it, that was not ow. He didn't hurt at all. That sword has killer reach. Bro. You and that fucking chick, I swear. Oh no. I'm so glad you don't have to be facing enemies to block them. Like, it's pretty wicked, right? I'll admit it's kind of a gimmick. Ow. No. You're dead. Now it's just you and me, jumpy. Jumpy McBlocky. And you're toast. Shit, that was kind of easy. Except for the dude that flies around. Like that guy. He shoots magical runes at you that home in on you from across the universe. The judge, the knight, and the king. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. We, we have to... We have to look at these guys real quick. A giant, well-armored undead creature. It bears a greatsword and some armor, but it's almost tragically clumsy with both. Me. Like it was once a god of sorts. Not me but has since been reduced to a shambling shadow of its former self, me again. A giant undead creature, it is adorned and golden and carries a great scepter like some gross perversion of royalty. There's nothing perverted about that. Let the man glam, dude. A giant floating undead creature, she bears... That was a woman. She bears the scraps of a violet robe and carries a large leather-bound tome. It's her book of spells. Well, that was her book of fuck you to me. Is what it was, but... Okay, I like that boss fight. That was pretty cool. What's this? A shimmering pearl? Okay, it's really, like, laying the goods on thick for me right now. I'm here for it. Bro, you gotta give me, like, one hidden wall. Just one. Like, a mash circle at every single one of these walls. Like, at this point, I think I deserve, like, a pity wall. Oh, okay. A shortcut. Cool. We're back. Back up to the top. This is where the original sanctuary is, right? I'm not crazy. It should be up here, I think. Yeah, it's like somewhere over there. I don't know. I'm just gonna use the calling horn. Hey. I should be using the bell. Like, wouldn't the bell make more sense at this point? No, I can't level up with my salt from that boss. Except. I can. Bro, I just need, like. Just a pouch. Just give me a pouch of salt. Give me two. That's all I need. I don't have a problem. Alright. Ooh, just barely. Probably would make more sense for me to just buy it. No, because that thing is dreadfully expensive. That's too much. It's overkill. Alright. Let's smash. Let's pound some salt. 
I gotta be like right on the cusp. All right. They don't tell you how much salt they give you either. It's stupid. Okay. One more of these ought to do it, but I bought two just to be safe. Wait a minute. Now two won't even do it. I need even more. All right, I'm over it. I'm just gonna get the stupid ass sack of salt. All right. Just give me all the salt, man. There, perfect. Level up one time. Get my black pearl. Now we have four. And I don't know what direction to go. Like, I mean, honestly, I've been looking around at the weapons, but I haven't seen another weapon that I want to transmute and go down the path with. This thing just seems sick to me. Like, I want to I wanna make a separate playthrough and just play around with magic more. Like, I feel like I lost interest a little too quick in the beginning of the game, and maybe I should just give it another chance. Like, I should give magic an extended chance in this game is what I should do. Come on, man. No badass skeleton sword. No badass skeleton shield. All right. No badass skeleton mask. Oh, what's that? The Trinity Scepter? Okay. So that... That's the giant scepter that he was trying to hit us with. It has an S scaling in strength, and it's a class 5 great hammer. It's a... Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. It has low base attack because it's got ridiculous scaling. I see. <clears throat> that thing, too. Like, I just... That thing, I bet, is just awesome. It's probably so freaking cool to play with. What's this? Okay. It's a magic poleaxe. An S scaling in wisdom, a B in dexterity, and then a kind that tiny little pinch of strength and it does holy damage all right so i'm definitely into that i like the idea of that no more scissors no trinity scissors no trinity scythe no trinity crossbow <clears throat> Um, no, nothing. Well, that's just weird. So you can only make two wep- there's three of them, but you can only use two of their- Souls, I guess. Huh. Maybe a, from a base weapon? Strange. Can't make a shield from them. Can't make a great shield either. So you can make that, and then the the pole axe. I guess that's it. I thought for sure you could make some kind of weird staff. Huh. Maybe one of them you can use is like a for like a magic attack. Okay. So what? What did we cover today? We got the Forgotten King was the boss we just fought. And then the Kraken Dragon scores... Don't know how to say his name. Um, 
I think that was pretty solid. I think we covered quite a bit. I don't think we're entirely done with the Crypt of the Dead Gods. I think there's still some items and stuff and some little pockets here and there that we need to explore in order to get everything here. I just I got kind of like that feeling that we haven't got everything down here. Like we're probably missing out on a covenant or something significant, maybe an NPC somewhere. And we're going to go look for those things. I will most likely do that exploring off screen. Don't worry. I'm going to capture that stuff. I'm not just going to go do it and play it and just not record it. I'll capture that stuff and we'll do a classic recap if I find anything at the beginning of the next video. Just like typical LP fashion. But um, something that I also want to make note is uh, I don't know how many of you watch all the way to the end of my videos. Those of you who do are heroes, you're champions. But... Um, I'll probably make a more significant announcement about this on my Facebook page. Um, I did get Mortal Shell. I'm getting like a shit ton of comments about that game, requests to play it and stuff like that. I played the beta when they opened it and made it public for everybody on Steam. I did play that, did not capture it. Um, I only played it very briefly and didn't get an opportunity to like really digest it and soak in the game and get a good opinion of it because I was like right back to Demon Souls and this and Monster Hunter before I knew it. But I did like what I played and now that the full game is available, I bought that. It's downloading as we speak on my PlayStation 4. So I'm going to be doing a Mortal Shell playthrough. The problem with that is uh, I have a lot on my plate at the moment. Um, this game is coming to an end. That's going to free up one spot for me. But we're doing Demon Souls, I'm going to start Sekiro soon, and I'm also starting Monster Hunting 101 soon. And I need to find some way to squeeze in Dark Souls 3 and all that stuff. And I'm going to try to find a way to balance all of it. So I don't necessarily know that Mortal Shell is going to be a playthrough that happens soon on this channel. Like, if I was smart and wanted to grow and attract more people and get more subscribers, I would probably play that game because it's new and it's hot and people want to see it. But... At the same time, like, I already have enough stuff going on, stuff that I promised you guys, things that I need to work on, and be responsible about. So, what I'm saying to you through all of this babbling is, I have Mortal Shell, I am going to play it, I intend to play the game, and I'm going to bring you guys with me on that journey. So, look forward to that at some point. I can't promise it'll be soon, but you never know. It, it may happen. It might be soon, it might not. But we're going to see what happens. So thank you guys so much for joining me again on Salt and Sanctuary. I feel our salty adventure coming to a close. But that's okay. As they say in the kitchen, salt to taste. And we're going to make it delicious. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Return to Balataria coming up next. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And I'll see you guys there. <laughs>